to attend, they can catch up and follow um, what happens afterwards. So, Prosper, I don't know if you want to go ahead and get started. You're you're better at asking community building questions than I am. So, do you want to one, <laughs> and then I can jump into the content. All right. So, I I would say a big welcome to everyone. Um, this morning I was out of bed and I was asking myself, will I really make it for the week? Because there are a number of things that I need to do. I know the same applies to you, but. Just to let you know that irrespective of what yesterday was, I mean, be hopeful that things will get much better today and even tomorrow and even on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I was pretty much excited when I saw our, our activity on the platform over the weekend where we were cracking jokes. And I think that was my first time learning about cracking a joke using uh, whatever theme or whatever course you studied, you know. And I did that on my WhatsApp status yesterday, and then someone was like, "Really? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know you could use words like that in that kind of way." So, I mean, just to keep you alive, we want you to understand that it's not just about work. Work. We want to also have fun and also help each other. So, be hopeful for the week. Be very confident at what you're learning. Be ready to fail forward and seek for help when you need it. And myself, Arun, and the rest of the team will be around to support and make things work for you. So happy week and conquer things today. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Prosper. Um, yeah, <laughs> full, full respect to some of the other people making jokes. It was nice to see some of them out there. Some of them were a bit of a stretch. Some of them I wanted to ask a little bit about, <laughs> but I don't see... I don't see my alter ego Hadi online right now, so I can't ask him. <laughs> I can't ask him some of the questions that I wanted to ask him. Anyways, okay. Uh, so we have a couple of questions, a couple of things happening today. So first of all, I hope everyone has seen the weekly challenge that was launched. We put it up yesterday at uh, 6 p.m. Rwanda time. Um, you've seen the. We've tried to make it as detailed as possible, learning, building on some of the questions from last week. Um, so that's launched. The first interim submission is due uh, as is written in the um, document. I believe it's tomorrow at 20, so 8 p.m. Rwanda time. Final submission is Saturday, 8 p.m. Rwanda time. Today at in one hour, there'll be a open stand-up on Slack to ask questions. And so the idea is have a read through, see if there are any questions that you have. Let's clarify everything that needs to be clarified. If there are any things that need to be clarified, then we will use the document. So please do, um, don't just download a PDF and uh, look at that static version. You can do that, but make sure you check back regularly. As some, there may be some small things that'll change as you go. Uh, Jean is your is your sort of main instructor for the week. He was uh, instrumental in designing the challenge and Sebastian will be your point person for any um, questions about the challenge or how do you approach ABC. So that's a little bit more structure that we've put in. Um, we'd like to say hello to, we have six participants so far that have joined from Ethiopia. <clears throat> and there's some others that may be joining today. Um, there was the internet didn't come back across Ethiopia in the same, at the same time. So I think big cities or Addis and then other cities came back at different times. So we will have people joining um, I think today will be our last day. So we have at least six. Um, I'm sure that you've you've already gotten to know some of them. I think Benjamin was the first person who responded to Prosper's Get to Know Each Other Challenge, which was great. So you'll see some other people joining during the week. Um, that also means that some of the people who had been added will, if they haven't submitted all their assignments. So there'll be a little bit of movement in terms of participation, um, who's in the group, but that'll stabilize by tomorrow. So just to reiterate, um, six people have joined today. There will be another one, two, three people that'll join by the end of the day today, and then that'll be frozen for the rest of the period. Um, great to see everyone on uh, all the articles that have been posted on towards data science. Um, thank you everyone for putting that together. We think that it's cool to see everyone who um, took the effort and posted and hopefully that effort that was required to actually put it together and post was useful. Um, it's very easy, it's hard to write. And so we wanted to encourage people to write. And so it's great to see that. So thank you uh, everyone who, who ended up doing that. And also thank you to the group for accepting to slow down for a week and possibly to lose a little bit of momentum as we slow down to make sure that our 
um, participants from Ethiopia were able to join. Um, so two new things that'll be happening this week. One is that we're gonna be looking for a couple of guest speakers to be um, providing content as well. So keep an eye on that. We'll be announcing that and making uh, additions to the schedule, but mainly people who can add um, further context to share what it is that they're doing. Um, it'll obviously be using Google Meet. So it'll just be a chance to go to hear 15 or 20 minutes about what they're doing, what they're working on. Um, we're looking to bring in a diverse range of people and then to ask questions. Um, it's important for us that people make their best effort. It's not a required thing, but a little bit like the stand-ups to make a best effort to attend um, because that's useful, we think, to help prepare people um, for the world of work, also to get different perspectives, people who are doing things that are different from what you may already know. So please do make your best effort to attend. They will be announced well in advance. And um, two last things, one Sebastian will take care of and the other one um, is that we are going to start to, as we start reaching out to employers and start trying to, have, just to emphasize our, our goal here is that everyone who signs up has the possibility, everyone who's part of the course will be job ready but we want that um, the top performers are able to get linked up to a real job. And so we are starting the outreach process to employers and we're going to be asking a number of you to help us by preparing your own profiles um, so that you can, um, we can feature that on our website. And we see that as a good uh, feedback loop where by showcasing your profiles, we're able to say these are the people that we have that are available to hire. And that should help us get more people who are interested in hiring from the program. So we're going to be doing that, reaching out this week. So keep an eye on that. And the last point I'm handing over to Sebastian, just um, to add a little bit more information on. Um, so we friendly request, gentle request. Um, we think it's better if everyone uses first names to address each other. And so Sebastian is just going to say a couple of words on that. All right. Um, can everyone hear me? We can hear you, yeah. Okay, fantastic. All right. Um, so in our usual African culture, we are taught to respect the elderly. You know, uh, you don't call people or your elderly ones by their first name. It is tagged as uh, disrespect in some way, right? But what it does is that it creates this hierarchy where the younger people are not able to be themselves when they are when, when they are in a communication flow, okay? And that also hinders, because the more the communication, the better things, the, the more things come up and we're able to address them, all right? And the more people feel free around, you know, uh, people and then are able to express themselves. So let, me, let me give you this example. Just imagine the way you are with your best friend, right? You are so free, you're able to talk, you're able to share so much, but you don't have that same relationship with, you know, your lecturer because, you know, that person is senior, you have to be, you know, very, you, you have to uh, exercise some restraints when you're having certain communications with them and so on and so forth, right? And so we, in Ten Academy, we want to create a culture where people feel free, they come in their authentic self and they're able to communicate, right? And then the use of say and Madame hinders, you know, um, on, that, uh, on that aim that we want to, to, to achieve. Okay, so I know it's it's weird at first, um, if especially if you are used to say uh, Madame and so on and so forth. It's it's very weird if you are to uh, all of a sudden change, right? But then we recognize it as a learning process, and it's going to take some time. Okay, and I mean with Slack, I think it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just mention the person's name, right? Just use the mention. So Arun, or Sebastian, or Jean, and so on and so forth, right? So um, let's try, it's, it's not going to be straightforward, but let's try as much as possible to call you know, everyone by their first name. And we are cool with that, okay? We are cool with that. So let's try as much as possible to do that. And I think that we will be fine. Yeah, Arun, one, I think that's I it. I wanted to add to that, uh, to build on what Sebastian was saying. I think we're also, one difference is we're preparing, we want to prepare you for the world of work. And in the world of work that we're preparing you for, you are there because you are competent. You're not there because somebody has done you a favor. And so if you're there because you're competent, of course, you should be respectful, you should be polite, you should be collegial, but nobody is doing you a favor when the person gets you a job. And you're there because you earn your place on the team or at the table every day. And so I think that the, um, 
the implementation of this hierarchy is not necessary because you're there, you're doing a job um, and you earn your place at on the team and at the table every day. So as, as Sebastian said, it's not, it's not something dramatic. It's just part of the culture that we want to introduce. So I'd be happy if you call me by my first name or use a mention or just whatever, but we're there for the same reason. Um, okay. So that's, uh, handing over to Jean or to Sebastian or to Prosper if they have anything else to add is, uh, or Mustafa and then we'll right. uh, over right. to the daily stand up. Right, so I'm super impressed with today's attendance. We have about 40 of us joining, which means that we can get more of them. And uh, like I already said, just feel free when you mention any of us. Um, one of the questions one of my colleague wanted to ask, uh, a student reached out and I think Arun you should get that. He wanted to find out if we are continuing with, with three or with one for um, our friends from Ethiopia who joined last week for pre-assessment. So that's a question to you, Arun. Could you repeat the question, please? Yes, so he was asking if this week is going to continue with week three or week one for pre-assessment uh, student. No, so now everyone is on the same, we're, everyone will be doing the same thing. So everyone is on week two. Everyone is doing the same challenge. So we're not, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to maintain two separate programs in parallel. We just don't have the reason. Right. So we're, everyone's on week two, um, recognizing that that's a bit of a challenge for our colleagues from Ethiopia. Um, I don't know what to say. I think you'll be able to manage. We're there to support, but everyone is, is straight on to week two. Right. Sama, there you have it. Jean, do you want to add something? You're muted, Sean. I'm muted. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I could not say even more because you guys talked about everything, but you, I just want to say uh, I'm glad first to see you uh, guys here. And as Aaron already uh, said, you are here because you are competent. And I don't, I, I don't worry about that. And that's why I we also try to design carefully the weekly challenge so that it fits with your competence. Like, yes, I know you have skills and I know uh, the weekly challenge also uh, are challenging, but I know also that uh, you have uh, like, uh, you are like a, t a team players and from, uh, uh, from that and from your skills and from our support, I think you, you will just get everything uh, uh, done. So this uh, week challenge, I. I, I I hope you 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 have been introduced to the challenge. Uh, maybe I don't know. Yesterday you have been uh, yes. You get the challenge by uh, the, since yesterday, and hope you guys just go through and see uh, how we design things and how uh, just your first time. Just take it to read. You could be read read when you uh, we give you we give you an assignment. First of time, I think. You should read a lot of time to be sure you get uh, the things. If you don't get small things, just ask questions. And I also think that uh, every time I will, I, I will, I will try to do a, a tutorial with you guys. I will try to talk about the challenge and to show you the direction where should you focus on. Uh, what are we expecting, like technically and really? And uh, so I don't, I, I don't, I don't think you guys uh, will will have any issue, but. I, I, I'm here to support, and Sebastian also is here to, to support. And from now, don't see yourself as uh, like you are learners and we are teachers. No, we are a company. We are a company, and this is the data science department. And now let's like let's see us as your manager, and then you are the data scientist. So what uh, is a role of the data scientist? Just perform the assignment. Uh, everything we ask you to do, we assign you a weekly challenge. So take the weekly challenge at the beginning of the week and use your skills to go through uh, all over the week. And at the end of the week, we are gonna to see we are gonna see where where you are. So if you are here, ask a question. And uh, I think everything is already clarified. I, I'll not say I'll not add a, every, a, anything more. But feel free to contact us. And uh, so like. You are our data scientists are now, and we have to solve real world problem together. So yeah. we are just going to learn from each other to make the things done. So I'm happy. I'm happy you are you, you to, to to see you there. I'm also happy about the teams around Sebastian. Right. I'm 
I'm grateful to all of your thank you. And you guys also, are, 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 from now, you are our, let's say, uh, our expectation is just to make your job ready. And you also have the core things of the skills. You have all the skills already, but now the work is just like, how do you actually manage and use the skill you already have to solve real world problems? So, and it's not gonna be a, a challenge. It, 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 it's not gonna be a challenge, but it will be like more direction and uh, 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 like proactivity in like the, the 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 work you are doing. I think you you will do it. You will do it. Yeah. Super. So I, yeah. Thanks, Jean. <clears throat> One thing just to build on what Jean is saying, and this is very boring, but the schedule we've we've I think done a better job this week of making a schedule clear. So please look on the website. The schedule for the entire week is there. Um, things will be added, but there should ideally be no more questions of what is happening when and where do I find the different things. Um, assignments will be uploaded by on Google Classroom only. Meeting links are there. Um, we will have some Slack discussion. So if there are any things that we can clarify, reach out to one of us. But that should be made super. That should be by today super clear. Anyone? So who's doing? Who wants to go first? Who wants to? We're looking for about five people. We have well, we have till eleven o'clock. So um, just reflections on what you plan to do for this week and any blocking points you have. It may be a bit early, but nevertheless. So you can just put your name in the chat window. We've somehow I still I've never learned how to use the code that um, Anastasia had put up, so I can't use that. But let's just take volunteers. <laughs> should, I, should I go on? I, I think Lola wants to talk. Sure. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Lola. Okay, all right. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I hope you all can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, all right. So thank you, Jean, for the insight you gave. I mean, particularly when you mentioned that it's a data science department. It's, it's yeah. more comprehensive than we are. I think it will help the whole challenge stuff and make it easier. So for this week, going through the documents yesterday night, I discovered that it's more robust than the one we did last week and it will require me to have to have an overall understanding of the project so how i decide to how i decide to go about it is okay i would have to i would read all the reference material first and the paper so that i would know how to okay undo the data set because i discovered that the data set is kind of a bulky one too so i'll first read the materials then now take on the facts because i i i saw that it's it's four, it's four tasks. Then I'll now go on with it one by one. Do the first task first, then the second one, third one, like iteratively. So I think that would help me, and hopefully I would be able to get something done before tomorrow and submit the interim. And by Saturday also submit it finally. Yeah. So thank you. All right. Anyone who else wants to speak? Jean, we need to have a tutorial on how to say your name and say your name properly in French. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Jean. Like when you say Jean, I remember 2017 10 Academy. I was like, <laughs> okay, my name is Jean, and yeah, you can, yeah, but I'm free. I, even if you call me Jean, I'm okay with that. So, <laughs> Jean, Jean Mustafa can do a tutorial on the French pronunciation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what about in the, yeah, it's like a complex name. Let's say Jean and that or not. Let, let me write it to you. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, but I'm happy with this one. I think, yeah, like, okay, this is not in special. Like, I start from an a, a H. So H E and yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, but but you can just call me. Let, let me. Say, you can just call me G H. Like when I was working uh, with M T and my colleague, they used to call me a G H. So, like G H and uh, yeah, I used to call myself also a professor. So like if you are free, yeah, like feel free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jean. We we just finished saying that we shouldn't say sir. Now Jean wants to be a professor. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> who else, who else wants to speak? Yeah, Biniam. I, I think yeah, Biniam has a question. All right, Biniam. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, I was on mute. Yeah. Uh, so, how's everyone doing? Good. Uh, I want to ask a question on behalf of the Ethiopian students. Uh, as you may have already known, we are still on the pre-assessment stage. So, when do we know for sure that we got accepted? Today. Or not? Today. So we we will finalize by today. So I oh. I think for some people, I don't know. I guess you're not inside Addis. But I think some of the people from Addis had their internet back earlier. So by the end of day today, I think there'll be some interviews happening, but yeah. definitely by today. Oh, okay. Thank you. That was my question. Yeah. All right. Anyone else want to speak? Timila. 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 I think has. Okay. okay. Good morning. Um, and thank you for the um, short introduction because it sort of encouraged me and I liked what you said. And I just want to um, add to what Lawal said. Just like Lawal has already said, this week is almost totally different from last week. I mean, the task, and it requires more of reading and getting to understand new things. So I'm just thinking, it's a suggestion from my hand. I think for last week, we submitted the interim on Wednesday and not a Tuesday. So I'm just suggesting if we could always submit interims on Wednesday because Submitting um, the one I submitted last week, I, I wasn't really happy with what I did because I felt that if I had enough time, I would have done it way better. So I think that Tuesday is sort of close. If you could always like submit interims on Wednesday, since the final deadline is like on Saturday, Wednesday seems to be like the middle of the whole thing. Tuesday seems to be pretty close. Like Tuesday is like tomorrow, like the next 36 hours. So if we could always submit interims on Wednesday, because Honestly, to give us enough time to really do more work than we plan to do and ensure that we submit something that is really, really reasonable than just submitting something that we just want to rush and submit and things like that. It's just my suggestion. I don't know what other um, fellows think about this, but I think this would be very... I will appreciate it that this can be done. <laughs> Thank you. So I would, I would just encourage you to have a look at what the difference between the interim submission and the final submission, given that there are four tasks and only one is being requested for the interim task. So I would be, if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't want to have just one due on Wednesday and then have to do three between Wednesday and Saturday. So let's have a have, reflect on um, what's there, have a deeper look, and keep in mind also, and this is to everybody, this is no longer, um, so in the world of work, you are, it's not, you won't always be able to get everything done. Right, so this is a stretch task. Some of you will manage, some of you will not manage, and that's okay. Um, but there is a lot that's being asked, and there is no, there's no longer a right or a wrong answer. It's not a calculus or an algebra exam where you can get 100% correct. This is now you, each of you on your own, and you'll manage to get as much done as you can manage. So given that um, it's only one out of the four tasks that's due, that's why we thought about Tuesday, we also want to push people to get moving ahead pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I don't. I, we we don't want. So we can consider it for the next week's challenge. For this week, we don't want to make any changes because that'll introduce confusion. Um, get as far as you can go. Um, have a have a closer look at what's required. And there is no right or wrong answer. Each of you will make progress at your own speed. That's what I think, Jean. What do you think? Mm, yes, I think that. Yeah, for for this week challenge, for example, yeah, we divided in four uh, sub sessions. So uh, let's say four tasks. And uh, yes, I I know that is too close. But when you say uh, like what are we uh, what we are asking to submit for even the first uh, task, I think is is too helpful. If you manage uh, this is let's say for example, if you manage to to so if, if we pass it to Wednesday and then we will submit only one task uh, for Wednesday. Then uh, how are you doing with the other three? Uh, I think that uh, we can let it like that. And uh, you are not uh, expected to, to, to do everything and to know everything, but we just want to see how you are progressing. Yes, yeah, so if by uh, to, tomorrow, if you can try just to, to, to explore the task one and try to answer the kind of question we are expecting to get as a result, I think that's fine. And if you can even not answer all of those questions, just do your best. Eh? And then from our side, we are going to just check if, because we want just to see if you are progressing as if you are working in a data science teams and they give their work uh, for one week. 
they want to see now let's if you are uh, like in tuesday uh, uh, how are you doing just like if you understand everything and if you are able just to 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 go for the rest of the week without like uh, any uh, uh, any other situation like just make it like that and uh so later maybe for some challenge on the coming week we can see how to uh when we have for example two two sub task yes if we have we divide the challenge in two sub stack then we can just say wednesday for the for the interim sub submission but here right now at least let's say if you are we are asking you to provide let's say a uh, first uh, interim sub submission like the first one uh tuesday the second one uh let's say wednesday or thursday and then friday and then saturday for the final submission like just we just ask one interim submission for the first task just to see that you guys are aligned and you are able to uh to to to, to begin the the things yeah but if you don't worry we are i think we are working as a team if you have question if you are uh, you, you have your your classmate you have your colleague and you have also uh, so let be free uh i think you will manage to do that i, I don't i'm not worried about that so i'm i agree with Aaron. So before we go to Ayubila, i just wanted i forgot to mention the point about the badges so you've all seen in the weekly challenge we're going to be introducing badges for the week recognizing yes. that some people will be experts in a specific area so have a look at the badges we'll be announcing wow. along with the results um sort of the badge winners for the week and so because some people did an exceptional job in different um, parts of their, be it in the visualization or their writing or an in innovative approach or writing really excellent code. So there'll be five badges on offer, a little bit inspired by the way the Tour de France, if anyone follows cycling, they have, um, it's not only the overall winner, but they have um, different category winners. So we'll be putting those out at the end of the week and asking the category winners to kind of add a emoji to their name so you can see who's doing well as they go. Uh, I, I yes. Yeah, yes, I believe before you come in, so quickly, just to add to what Arun said, I'd love to see your faces on your Slack channel. So wherever you are in your profile, please do update with your photo and then your name right after our meeting today. So I'll check on that and maybe the best uh, persons make sure we get something special. All right, I believe go ahead. All right, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Um, I just want to say that um, we should exercise patience. That's to with alertness. We should exercise patience. And I'm sure if we compare our skill set um, from the pre-week to now, we can see how much we have grown. And so for myself, I kind of felt intimidated at first. Um, from the first task, I thought I didn't do well. So I didn't even want to submit what I had done. Then I was like, I had a target for myself. So when I was not able to meet that target, so it felt like I had failed. I couldn't get the results I wanted, so I didn't want to submit. So Aaron could testify that I submitted most of my things late. And then reading through other people's blog posts and then seeing what they have done, then I realized that we are all at the same level of, um, let me say, we are the same playing kind of like playing field. So what I what other people got wasn't too different from what I got. So what stopped me from to submit my work was actually intimidation or a very high expectation for my own end rather than you know just going with what you have money to do and so we shouldn't feel like okay you need to get it all done perfectly before you can submit or before you can make sense out of what you've done let's work with what you're able to do i don't feel like somebody else is up there and you are you know at the bottom or you, you have to get it perfect before you submit it i think that would be wrong so let's go for pro progress over perfection and then try to cope with the deadline, just do as much as we can and then submit them. And I'm sure we're going to get there, definitely. Yeah, that's what I wanted thanks, to say. Thanks, Ayubila. Very, very useful. Um, so Ken's already responded to you on the chat. So last one will be um, Brian. Okay. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> uh, I also had the same issue. Uh, my brother had um like last week um when we were going through the challenge i felt i felt like um the, the pressure was too much on me and and um i wanted to like finish everything uh, on time and um 
I, I felt like I was not like, I, I, I was not able, but um, I, I think uh, the more we work with the, the challenges and the data sets, um, we get uh, used to the pressure. We, um, like for me to uh, this week, uh, I think I'm more of confident when it comes to working the process and like, you know, and um, I think by the, uh, by the end of all this training, I think for everyone, if you feel like you are, uh, the, the, you, you are not uh, you are kind of pressured right now just uh, um take it take it like a normal work um i, th I think i like what jh said um uh, like this is a data science company and uh, and we are the employees so from that perspective um you want to be that kind of of pressure or frightened and uh, you take things normal like this is a normal work and uh yeah that way you'll be able like you won't you, you won't feel like you want to do everything at the same time. Yeah. All right. Th thanks, Brian. So I, th I think that's it's good to hear that reflection. Um, so we're we're hitting 11 o'clock. We have our next uh, Slack stand up at 1130 or not stand up, but rather questions on the data set. Um, I just last point from my side, please have a close look at the schedule. We do have a number of sessions that We've put open tutorial sessions um, to answer questions or to ask questions on the weekly challenge, so that there is um, there are specific times where tutors will be available online to ask questions. So don't hesitate uh, to use those times, and recognize that if you ask questions in those times, you'll get a faster response. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So thanks everyone. Have a super day, and we'll let's have a very productive and uh, good learning week ahead. And now that now that Heidi is online, let's see, so let's much. see Heidi if you can uh, come up with some good jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everyone. Okay, okay. So before everyone goes, we have our friend back on Victor. So we'll be we'll be welcoming him back on our Slack channel. Welcome, Victor. If he's on the call. Okay. Welcome, Victor.